does all the serious stuff with Andy. It's time for your list. Yeah, can I do a hypothetical first? Yeah, yeah you, uh, he, he, don't, he does not mind sure answering. Show. So I know <laughs> that you love the nucleus you've got coming back. You referenced Chris Middleton, Bucks guard earlier. So you watch NBA, obviously. If I could give you one NBA player, you can take any to add to your roster next year. Do you think you could win the national championship and who would it be? Yes, Giannis. Uh, he'd be a tough guard. No, I mean, and, and our, I heard him combine. He's Kevin Garnett, uh, Kevin Durant, Kobe Bryant, and Shaq all together. I would take any one of the top three, and all three of which are foreigners, which I think is, should be a little concerning for, for the mindset of American basketball. The three best players in the league, in my opinion, are Giannis, one, Joker, two, yep. Luka, three. I think if you were starting a franchise right now, those guys would go one, two, and three in that order. And they're all foreigners. How about that? And they're all skilled and they're all big. They're I mean, all Luka's big. a all... big point. Exactly. I, I love yeah, I love the NBA. I, I don't really watch it as much during the regular season because I'm so inundated with college basketball and with scouting and preparing your team. You just I, I still watch the SEC. I still watch my friends. But I don't really get into the NBA until our season is done and then they're, they're, they're gearing up for the playoffs. And I love it at this time of the year. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yes, uh, with Giannis, even I could not mess that up. <laughs> Blazers to the yeah. national I championship. Mean, he, he won a championship with the Bucs. Yeah. Uh, okay, Atari or in television growing up? Atari, of course. I, in television, I don't even know what that is. We didn't have that in Louisville, Mississippi. You know, we didn't even really have fiber cable till the mid-80s. Yeah, we were t- uh, Atari 2600, and television was kind of the uppity kids. Oh, yeah. 2600. What was I Atari never even six, heard of it. Yeah. The 2600 was the original joystick. Yeah. And the paddles? Do you have uh, the paddles too? I don't know if they had the paddles or you not. Played pong? Maybe for pong. Yeah, you yeah, remember yeah. pong? It was pretty easy. I remember the whole baseball. I, I grew up. Baseball is the first sport you're uh, really exposed to in small town Mississippi, Little League, yeah. Dizzy Dean. Right. And so I was big into baseball when I was young, and, and the whole baseball Atari game was the bomb. Yeah. You'd spend hours doing it. Had like uh, one pitch. Okay. The, so the next couple of questions pertain to your overseas career. Okay. Better coast, Greece or Spain? Spain. Really? I lived in Valencia, which is just below Barcelona, right on the Mediterranean. Unbelievable. And it's the it's the best basketball league I played in. I played in the ACB. Uh, they really care. It's like it's like good college basketball. They care about it over there. This was again, you gotta understand, this was in the early nineties, so uh, I had a Yugoslavian coach, didn't speak English, he was into two a days, carrying bricks up hills, things oh, that I'm wow. not, th- things that I'm not sure this the, the jelly would be into if I tried to implement <laughs> tomorrow. Did, did you ever <laughs> you ever take a boat to Ibiza? Yeah, I, you know, I, I the the I, no, I did not, but I, I have been on the Greek Isles. Okay. Because I was in Greece. Uh but I was downtown, it was right after the uh Persian Gulf War. Mm-hmm. It was hard for an American to hail a cab. Let's just say that. Ooh, they were not happy with yeah. us uh, in the early 90s. Okay, better looking women, the Netherlands or Puerto Rico? Oh, come on, bro. Puerto Rico. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Unless, you're into, it is, unless you're into wood shoes. Don't always get this weird foot thing. Uh, but not if you've been walking around and getting uh, wood splinters. Shoes, yeah. uh, okay, Gladiator or Braveheart? Better movie. Ooh, tough one. Gladiator by a, by a hair. I agree with you. I think it by is really hair. tough. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, tougher coach to play for, Jim Valvano or Gene Barto? And by tough, you know what I mean. Yeah. You know what? I I, I obviously had a better, a better experience with Coach Barto. Neither one of them were super tough. I didn't play as much uh, for, for Jimmy V. Think about how stupid I was. And trust me, I get it back tenfold every year. Uh, I, I came in thinking, okay, I was the Mississippi Player of the Year. Uh, high school All-American, play on an ACC tournament championship team, and I was playing behind a guy named Vinny Del Negro. I was a freshman. He was a senior. Worst like, haircut. I, and, and I was and like, man, I'm better than him. He played 12 years in the NBA. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Worst yeah. haircut in basketball, though. He Wait, had the straight-up butt cut. No, he had the big flock. Remember, he had the part down the middle yeah. and yeah. the flows. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the butt cut. Yeah. 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 And, and a little bit of uh, – didn't he a have for a mullet? For yeah, 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 a little bit. Corciani had the mullet, too. Yep. Yeah. If we're going into so Corciani, Corciani Monroe came the year after Gugliotta, they came the year after. Was uh, what do you think I of still Ray see Gugliotta running around yeah. uh, Atlanta? What yeah. do you think of Ray Romano playing Jimmy V in the I movie coming great, up? I think it's yeah. a great call. I'm cast. looking forward to that. Yeah, 
<laughs> I, I hope it's not a hatchet job. And I think the Valvanos are involved in yeah. the production. So hopefully it's not like winning time. You know, do you watch the HBO series? I do. And it's do. entertaining. And it I'm sure that's the whole thing. Yes. But Jerry West is not very well, entertaining. There's Del Negro right there. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you, Del Negro looks more like Adrian Brody than a Adrian Brody looks ah, like Pat Riley. I agree. Yeah. He's got a little of Chris Collinsworth's kid in him, too. <laughs> yeah. Jack. Jack Collinsworth. Yeah. Uh, okay. Bigger personality, Marshall Henderson or Bob Huggins? Oh, Marshall Henderson, for sure. Hugs has got a, a personality, but he doesn't seek it. Marshall is seeking it at every opportunity. I, the whole jelly phenomenon this year, I was prepared for that somewhat because of the Marshall mania. <laughs> what Marshall Henderson, he was really, uh, pardon, he, the, pardon the pun in the booth, but he was literally a rock star uh, when, when Marshall was going through his uh, incredible run. Is he playing overseas right now? He's finished playing. He's actually coaching. Yeah, he's oh, at wow. Ole Miss, right? No, he's, he, he's, now, he? he's a junior college assistant. He was. He okay, came back he was as a grad Miss, assistant. Yeah. And now he's pursuing his coaching endeavors. Uh, last thing you Googled. How to get to the Blue Lake Center. How to get to the Blue Lake Center. Exactly. Google Maps got me here. And I actually missed the turn. You guys need to uh, improve your, your map imaging. Uh, I actually missed the turn when I was coming off, what is it, Conley Parkway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I missed the turn. I had to do old Yui. Sorry. That's right. Yeah. What about before that? I, I, you know what? It was something I did this morning. Probably ESPN. Like, I'm, I am I get on my kids, my, my personal children, uh, uh, Megan 25, Caitlin 22, and I get on my players all the time about being addicted to the phone. But the first thing I do when I wake up in yep. the morning – is I go right to, hey, what have I missed in the six hours I've been asleep? And I go right to Twitter and just kind of see the nonsense. And I go right to Lucas Statline, big Luca Doncic fan. Um, last thing you dressed up as at Halloween, and when was it? Oh goodness, I, I'm not a big, I'm not a big uh, get out of my lane. Probably, and this would be considered. You know, I did the whole Randy Kennedy thing, the alter ego. Are you guys familiar? No, uh, no but, you should be. You should yeah. you should Google that. I did a whole. Uh, remember the the uh, Brad Lowe. Uh, you did this on the SEC Network one time, didn't correct, you? Correct, correct. Yeah. I did it. I, we did it as like a promotional thing for season tickets, and I yeah, I kind of carried I remember it out. That, yes. We did the Brad Lowe alter ego. What was that? It was like the TV thing. You guys remember? Uh, you don't really remember. Yeah, I remember like now the crazy. ticket giveaway. Yeah. No, it was a, it was a real thing. So I did like this Randy Kennedy, and I had a wig and a mustache. And I remember that. The, the real tight bike coaching shorts, which which all coaches had back oh, in our yeah. era. And, <laughs> and, with the and the whistle yeah. and the, high, and the knee-high yeah. socks. I did that whole thing, and we did a... a Russell cornered stick. the market on those biking shorts. They did, they? They, they did, yeah. Not, not very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, better Patrick Swayze movie, Roadhouse or Point Break? Oh, oh, oh again, a tough one. I'm going Roadhouse because of the blonde. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, think, I think Swayze was okay with Kelly the Lynch. blonde. Kelly Lynch. Oh, yeah, Kelly Lynch. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. If, you don't, if you don't know, it's spring on the calendar. AK's, AK's reminding us that it's springtime in the south right now. <laughs> he uh, he pinned her against the, the barn wall, too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I remember. I do remember. Uh, okay, and last meal on death row. What would you go with? We hope we never find you there. Yeah, that's a possibility. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a big Italian guy, so probably anything Italian, chicken parm, if it was really good. Chicken parm's hard to find at a good place. Chicken parm, I, I'm a spaghetti guy, believe it or not. I know that sounds bland, but over steak or anything else, I'd probably do that. Or just maybe 14 donuts. I, I have a donut uh, uh, obsession, and I stay away from them. Yeah. But if I was going right to death row, I'd say that I may throw caution to the wind. Birmingham has a surprisingly good Italian restaurant scene. I agree. And, for a deep South City? Donuts. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I thought you were going to say donuts. Yeah, I, donuts. Agree. I, do, I, I went last night. Have you guys been to Trey Luna? Uh -huh. in yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Really good. Really good. Authentic yeah. Italian. Very yeah. Good. Yeah. That's all I got. Uh, that's the list today with Andy Kennedy. Man, now that you know how to get here, come back anytime. No, it's awesome. Yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate yeah. it, man. Enjoyed yeah. it.